Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fill out an envelope. So let's get started. So first things first, you're going to want to put your stamp in the top right hand corner. Stamps are expensive, so I'm not going to use one for this video, but we're just going to pretend that's the stamp. Just make sure it's in the top right hand corner. You'll be good to go. So for this video, we are going to pretend that Holly Forrest is going to be sending a letter to Shannon Rose. These are both very popular YouTubers. Both of them have P.O. boxes available on their channels. So these are addresses that I don't feel bad using. They're not going to get anybody in trouble. So um, since Holly Forrest is the one that's going to be sending out the envelope, so this means if you're watching this and learn how to address an envelope, you're probably going to be the one sending it out. So you want to make sure you put your address in the top left hand corner. We're going to start out by writing your name first. So hers is Holly Forrest. And you definitely want to make sure that you're using very legible print. You don't want to use cursive. Make sure it's readable. After that, we're going to fill out her address. Um, if this is like your home address, it'll be like your, um, I think it'll be your house number first, your street, um, and then your city and state. So it'll be, for her, it's a P.O. box. So it'll be P.O. box. One. Three, oh, five, one. And then after that will be her city, which is San Bernardino's. Bardino? Probably saying that wrong. And then you want to make sure you put a little apostrophe. And then we're going to put the initials of the state, which her state is California, so that is C-A. If you don't know the initials for your state, you can just write it out, but I would suggest dropping that down to the next line and writing out your state, um, and then you can put the postal code. Now there's not really a wrong way to do this as far as the state and postal code go. You could drop down the initials here of the state and put California and then postal code or CA and then postal code. Or you can do it just like this. I've sent letters like this before and I've never had an issue. So um, that should be fine either way. Now, get So the next one is Shannon Rose. So we're going to say she's the one receiving the letter. So whoever you're sending the letter to needs to go here in the middle space. And it's kind of the same kind of blocky setup for uh, writing out their address. So it would be Shannon Rose. And just for the purpose of most people are going to be sending this from a street, I'm just going to make up an address so hopefully this doesn't hurt anyone. Um, but let's say her house number is 3691 which is actually her P.O. box number. So we're going to put 6391 Main Street. And here you can either put ST or you can spell out street. It doesn't matter. Personally, I like to spell it out. Forgot the R. Um, another little apostrophe there. And then it'll be the same thing. Um, hers is Folsom, California. And then we're going to put her postal code. Now you will notice that her postal code is a little bit longer than Holly's. Um, some, I think most postal codes are really long like this, but most people only remember the first five digits. As long as you get these five digits down, you should be good. Um, you don't really have to use the last four. At least I've never used the last four in my personal postal code. I've only ever used um, the first five and I've never had a problem with that. But if you want to go ahead and throw in the last little bit, you can. Um, either way should work. But that is how you fill out an envelope. I really hope this is helpful for some of you. Um, leave me comments down below. Let me know if, if this did help you any or if you have any questions. Um, that's just what it looks like on the back. You don't need to write anything on the back. You'll be able to insert you know, your letter and then tape it down or, you know, lick that, whatever you want to do. Um, again, just make sure whoever is receiving the letter 
that their address and name is right here in the center, then your stamp is in the top right corner and your address is in the top left. That is probably the most important. Just try to make sure you, you use legible handwriting and kind of keep it in this blocky format. It just looks nicer. Make sure there's good separation between uh, your information and the person receiving this information. That way there's no confusion. Um, but otherwise, that is it. Again, I hope you found this very helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.